Do you spend most of your working day handling files in front of the computer? Are you an attorney, a secretary or a patent attorney looking for a real ergonomic copy holder? In this video I will not only show you a game changer in office ergonomics but also show you how to modify your existing file holder or copy holder or build a brand new one really easily. And best of all, it will only cost you a few bucks. Attention, invention. Welcome to Attention Invention. Handling files at your desk can be a hassle. Either you position your file next to your keyboard, such that you have to turn and lean forward in order to view it, or you position the file between your keyboard and your monitor, such that again you have to lean forward in order to view it or manipulate it. The core idea for this invention was to position the file at the most ergonomic position on your desk. Hmm. Wait a second, that's just where his keyboard is right now. Exactly. But can you swap positions of your keyboard and your file in an efficient manner? No. Or more precisely, not yet. I recognized that my file has to be located right in front of me as long as I work on the file and that my keyboard has to take over its position as soon as I have to make inputs to my computer. Although there may be many ways to establish this situation, the most robust and easy to build solution is what I call the file butler. It provides a sliding motion just above the keyboard, such that the file can be drawn into a position above the keyboard and be pushed into a position between the keyboard and the monitor. While several embodiments are possible, let's start with an easy modification of a prior art example. Here's what we need. Meter rod, pen, saw, drill, screwdriver, copy holder, guide rail, plywood, metal or plastic sheet, screws, magnets, anti-slip mat or rubber feet. First of all, make sure that your keyboard can be located at any position below the copy holder as it is. We will raise the file support of the copy holder only by a couple of millimeters. In case the support is thick enough, just cut a strip off from each side of the support such that you can screw the first part of the guide rail into the strip and the second part of the guide rail into the support. Well done! The basic function is already implemented. Position the support and using the file butler will be way easier if both strips are connected. For example, by a thin sheet of plywood or plastic. In case your copy holder does not have an anti-slip component, Position the rubber feet at the frontmost and rearmost positions beyond the strips of your support. Now determine the distance to travel by experiment. Locate the new lower support of your file butler at the position where you wish the upper part of the file to stop in the frontmost position. Usually, this position is about the front edge of your keyboard or even closer to you. Now position the upper part of the file butler back to where you wish it to stop if pushed towards your monitor. Typically, this position corresponds to the rear edge of your keyboard. In case you wish these positions to be locked in place, look for an appropriate position to locate the magnets and a corresponding ferromagnetic metal part. For example, an iron angle attached to the lower part of the support and the magnets located at respective positions at the upper part of the support will do the job. You may also use the extensions to attach the magnets or the stops and to connect the left and the right lower support. Thank you. 
Now check the function of your file butler. Does it ride smoothly? Do the rubber feet prevent slipping? Is the force of the magnet sufficient? You can lower the magnetic force by putting a variable number of stickers on the surface of the respective magnet. Are you curious about which other features can be applied to the file butler or do you wish to download the free plans and complementary list of parts? Visit attentioninvention.com and make sure to send us pictures of your personal version of the file butler. If you want to use the file butler for private purposes, don't hesitate, have fun and go for it. However, if you are considering commercial use of the file butler, please make sure that you do not infringe any third party's protective rights. Visit attentioninvention.com for more information or ask your patent attorney. If you like the video, we are happy having done a good job. Please make sure to keep your thumbs since we will need them for our next project. Now you know how it's built. Want to know how to protect it? Click here to join the Höfe Academy and experience the creation of an independent claim on my invention.